Everybody, what is the hardest thing about Fastify? Well, according to everybody that I talk to, it's plugins. So let's demystify them a little bit. Here is our tiny little server. What do we do with it? Well, we start extracting our first route into its own plugin. So we have a, this, this lower route that we can actually try. So we do node server, and then we could do curl localhost. Ooh, can't type anymore. Uh, 3000, and it, it works. Amazing. Okay, so um, we want to extract in its own plugin. So what we do is uh, uh, we uh, create a folder called routes. And then in there we create a file called root.js for our root folder for our for our uh, root route, and then we do export default. Um, oh, not Ember, uh, a sync function, and this is app. Okay, and that's kind of it. It's okay, and then here we want to go back into our server, cut this route, and uh, pass it in here. And we have created our, 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 our first plugin with a route inside it. Amazing. So, and we do here app register, import, and routes, uh, route, route. So here we restart our server and we can curl it and it still works the same. Amazing. So we have actually refactored, we actually refactored this uh, in, in a good way. Um, yeah, uh, however, you know, uh, we want to make it parametric, okay, because this salutation, we don't really, uh, we don't really like it so much, so we need to, we want to make this uh, uh, a function so that it can be potentially customized or whatever. So what we want, we want to create uh, what I call them a, a plugin. So here we go, uh, we create a plugin, a plugins folder, and say, look, let's call it greeting dot uh, js and here we do the exact same thing we did before uh, export default uh, async function and then app and then here and then what we here we can do we can do app dot decorate and uh, decorate a request and then this is the greeting and we put it as hello and then uh, uh, let's put another one called name and let's say uh, uh, Matteo, okay? So here we have a low Matteo. Uh, and then we want to use, to use this into our, uh, into our uh, root route. Uh, okay, so what we can do here is uh, routes, and this is plugin, and this is greeting. Okay, so, and here what we want to use is we want to use request dot how they call this uh, here is called greeting, okay? And then here, if this is um, request.name. Cool, so now we can run this. And oh, uh, greeting, it didn't work because, oh, it's plugins, I think. Yeah, plugins, here we go. So uh, here uh, we run the server, uh, we run it, but it's empty. It's empty. Why it's empty? The, the reason uh, the reason why it's empty it's because it, we didn't do uh, uh, we didn't escape encapsulation. So if we move these two things into our root route, uh, we uh, uh, these will now work as we would expect it to. And here we can curl and it works. Okay. So, but how come these do not work if we put them into our uh, into our greeting? Well, because in, the, or uh, in order to break the encapsulation, in order to expose something that is being decorated uh, outside of uh, of a plugin, we need to use a little utility called Fastify plugin. So we do we call we import it, and then we just uh, uh, call it before going. Uh, before 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 exporting default and just by doing this uh, uh, we can now run the server and this works now and the route does not have it and the values are being published it's amazing right it's uh, and we can use this mechanism to scale up our our our, uh, our development thank you for watching in this video i've showed you how to create a fastify plugin and uh, le leverage decorators to uh, create more a structure code.
so that you can actually split your logic into multiple files uh, easily. Subscribe to my channel for more Node.js and Fastify tips. Thank you for watching.